simulation is not the same son hello hey go sir how you doing pretty good how's your workouts I, I see you do this like often yeah. I saw the the longest I saw you went you went 12 minutes straight of just straight running. That's that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not very long, day. but pretty How's good. Your day, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. Trying to trying to walk now so I can eat all that damage I did from running, so I'm not sort of on. Yeah, the trick. You, you, you got you got to maintain a, a nice healthy balance of what you do. Yeah. Um, right now, I, it's like uh, if I exercise. Go ahead, go ahead. No, you got it, man. You got it. I say if I if I did that exercise and then I just sat around, I'd be really sore the next couple of days. But since oh, yeah. I did that exercise and now I'm gonna walk like two or three miles. Do you ever I feel like? Do you ever feel looser, like uh, like muscle wise after your runs throughout the day? Hmm. Not necessarily from running. I do a lot of stretches with a kettlebell. <laughs> I hang from the scrappers and whatnot. Kind of like a bat. Um, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> hang, like, like, like? Oh, I can like, I can hang by my feet. <laughs> like, I can no sleep way. hanging upside down with my feet. Yeah, straight up. Like, <laughs> that's awesome. Like, you have one of those pull-up bars in your room, and you just hang like a bat. Yeah, you can hang it. You can like literally. You got this thing where your ankles. <laughs> you can put literally. They they're made just right to just hang on a branch or, or a bar. Everybody's got everybody's got that spot. But that's epic. That's really. It's epic. it's letting go and falling down. It's having it catches the trick. That's awesome. But uh, I'm, so I'm going to let you that, go. That makes you feel loose. All right. You have a great day. Have a nice day, man. I love you. Uh, I've been following you for years. Be safe. God bless. God bless. Somebody asked, why are you on your uh, TikTok since this back up? You know how crazy that gets? TikTok off the charts. Time. I don't want to spend any of it. I know you're a busy man. Let me know what you think of this. What's it for? 
<laughs> um, beanie weenie. Yeah, yeah, but, like, but it, it, it should be some kind of drinking game or vape pen game. Um, like, no, it's like so swing it back and forth and bang somebody in the head kind of game. Like it's gotta do something. No. So really, at the end of the day, we're stupid. So basically, <laughs> we're stupid. So we sit here, get high, and swing, swing around this little. It's it's actually. Oh, see, it has a purpose though. When you're high. Yeah. Well. No. Now no, here's the thing though. No. Now here's the thing. So it serves a purpose. Now, when you spin it and let it stop, you should pick a letter and see what that letter points at when it's done spinning. And then the first letter of the thing it's pointing at, see if you can spell words. See if the room will speak to you, basically. Yeah, we, write no. that down. Write that down. <laughs> no, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. listen, listen. Like a, the beanie weenie, the beanie weenie Ouija board. That's what we just invented right now. The beanie we weenie Ouija board. We did that just now. <laughs> surprisingly enough, it said Beanie's coming for you, and then we all we all stopped and ran. <laughs> but anyway, Beanie Weenie Ouija your, board. Uh, your whole opinion on the Beanie Weenie? The I, beanie I, this is my opinion. This is my opinion. They got like college ping pong. It's the, the Beanie Weenie Ouija board. Yeah. That's that's like some things like hot chicks would get into. Honestly, it's, I think. And, and, you're like the Kanye West for the beanie weenie industry right now. Like, you're really putting them on. There you go. I, I mean, if you think about it, and then, you know, all that extracurricular activities, just crack the can open. You got some beanie weenies right there. You're know, ready to eat. Hey, food? <laughs> no one has to make breakfast. No one has to make breakfast. It's right there, ready to eat. I sip from the broth of the forbidden fruit. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, man, I just want to. room speaks. Hey. You have yourself a beautiful day, man. We all love you. I mean, we're huge fans. We love you, Martin. You're a legend. And uh, goodbye, my sweet boy. I love you. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> the Beanie Weenie Ouija board. I miss you, God. <laughs> No fucking way I think I get in. Yo, what's up, Martin? Hi. How you doing, sir? I'm all right. How about you? Pretty good. I'm chill with my friend Raymond right now. We were just watching your stream. Uh, I'm working on some music right now. Hey, what do you think of the Beanie Weenie Ouija board? I think it's a great idea. I also think it's a great idea, dude. I think you guys should find it for this industry. Yeah, okay. I'm th like, you know, like a that's some spooky crap. Where'd you hear that from? He'd be like, I'm fucking beanie weenie can hanging in the room. They just spun it and the room starts speaking to me. Exactly. <laughs> you couldn't have said it better. What's that now? Uh, uh, oh my god. This is going to drive me nuts. The Mandela effect. Mm. Do you think it's going to happen? Beanie weenie Ouija board. The, the Mandela effect. The Beanie oh, Weenie Ouija Board Mandela Effect. No, listen to this. Listen to this. This is a real life I'm, science no, I'm experiment. Listening. I'm listening. Right? But you, you start, you guys start, hey, you guys play Beanie Weenie Ouija Board here? You start asking colleges and high school people. Just start asking them. Mm -hmm. Don't even play yourself. Just start asking people. Hey, you guys been playing Beanie Weenie Ouija Board? And just see if it takes off. <laughs> just start You're asking so them. Right. Like, You're so right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. A sociology experiment. Right? Like, you like, it's like, you'll I'll, forget I'll, about I'll, it, you. right? Right, listen, you're going to forget about it, right? Okay. And then you're going to end up like someplace two years from now, and you're going to walk into a room. There's going to be a beanie weenie, whole setup, rule book, the whole nine yards. And they're going to think it's like gonna you're going to be some legend. And I'm but you know, you ever hear about the man, the man who made this happen? I'm going to remember <laughs> the this when it happens. <laughs> That's funny. Getting beanie weenies on the game. I think I think this is a this is a plan. This is this is this is this is a huge idea. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. All right, I'm gonna leave you be. Uh, have a nice workout, Martin, and have a good night. Go both.
I think next week's subject, starting tomorrow, I'm going to start working on the project. Real life curses. Do they exist? And can you see what happened? <laughs> Those are the, the Salem witches. We have the Rainier. The Rainier witches. The Rainier witches. The Rainier brules. Can we see how this works? <laughs> Our next topic is slavery. Spells. My, my real thing is spellcasting. As my sociology experiment, spellcasting. Can you cast a spell? that manipulates the universe around the people listening to you babble or cast a spell? My body, my mask, it's real. Like it's real. Boom. Just happened. Like stuff like that. Miracle. Like mere eye call. Like raw flex some. Like that just became worse. And you go like, ah. <laughs> And then you just have a meltdown. Till the whole world just, <laughs> and it, it just happens. They're like, spend a whole year being like, it's not real. It, it's, <laughs> right? And then you go watch. <laughs> you have a meltdown and like, it's real. <laughs> How'd you do that? Like it was real already. Give me a look. Spellcast. Bitty mini rich boy. I can't hear you. You kind of kind of have a funny smell to you. I shouldn't be angry, but it's not angry. I don't make any sense. What's up? What's up, bro? Hold down for it. <laughs> he probably don't even work at Walmart. You said what? This guy's the. I said this guy doesn't work at Walmart. He's the imposter. I mean, everyone keeps asking me if, if I know who the imposter is. I think it might be this guy at Walmart. Yo, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> he froze. <laughs> he froze. <laughs> oh, did I get it? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> hey, Martin. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? I was just seeing what's up, you know? Not much. Just chilling. I was watching the water, water. repping out with the, um, with the weights. Oh yeah, my kettlebell. Yeah. Oh, I love that thing. Yeah, we just we just at the movies. We just got done seeing Scream. Oh, I, I'm not sure if I want to see it or not. Was it, it scary? Was good. It was horrible. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yeah, but um, are you gonna watch Batman? Oh. Look, I just Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Why is that He's the new Batman, right? Yeah. It's very interesting. He played a vampire. 
which kind of kind of lines up with being a bat and a man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty interested to see if they bring any like Easter eggs, like vampire Easter eggs into the character. That would be sweet. Yeah. Who's your favorite superhero? Mighty Mouse. Who? Or Mighty Mouse or Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine's Batman, so I'm pretty excited for that movie. <laughs> yeah, no, Batman's going to be off the charts. Robert Patterson. Is that a double entendre? Yeah. What does it connect to? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, okay. But he, listen, listen. He, he, what, he did play a vampire. Yeah. That's a connection to bats. And now he's a bat that's a man. Yeah. There'll be some Easter eggs in there, and it'll have to do with his freaking name. Yeah. Potentially. Or his parents or something. We'll figure it out. Did you do anything I'm sorry, you cut out. Did you do anything interesting today? Oh, yeah, me and my wife went shopping, oh. which is always cool. We went to Ross, and I got this uh, pedicure sham, you know, for her to put her foot on. It's got a magnifying glass and a fan. Yeah. Yeah. It's like when you get a long-term girlfriend or a wife or something like that, you'll know what I'm talking about. But you got to do foot rubs and stuff. Well, you don't have to, but trust me, you'll want to. Yeah. And it's nice to have, you know, you put your car on a pedestal. You might as well put that foot on a pedestal so you don't have to hunch over so far. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. So we did that. And um, just hang out, hang out with my wife. Yeah. We went to Emerald. Oh man! And I got a very, a very blast. Oh, I saw your post the other day. Did you watch Boba Fett, the new show? You there? Yeah, I had my my thing turned off. Go ahead. Oh. Do you watch Boba Fett? Yes. Yeah. Which was your favorite episode so far? Well, you can't pick one yet. Well, yeah, that's true. You, know, you can't pick one yet. Yeah. Mine was, uh, like, but so far, mine was probably um, the one with the train or the one where they, um, like, got the Rancor. So you talk about Easter eggs, the Rancor. Yeah. Freedom of the Rancor. Everyone, everyone fears the Rancor. There's so much, there, there's so much um, military cryptography in Star Wars. Yeah. Out, out past tattooing. <laughs> yeah. Tattooing. <laughs> let another day go by. Day go by. Exercising, let another day go by. Yeah. Yeah, I never noticed that. Well, um, I hope you have a good night, Martin. I'll talk to you probably again sometime. God bless, sir. Bye. I'm going to get off, guys. You have a great night.